I'm Ringer, and this is my prospecting journal. Come on, let's go prospecting. Ringer and this is Ringer's Prospecting Journal. In today's episode, we're doing a mail call day. Got a package in the mail? Let's go see what we got. Look what came in the mail yesterday. Got a package. Let's open it up and take a look and see what's inside. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so bear with me, folks. Maybe you got some pretty decent packaging. Condition of the box was excellent. Uh, this came from Mesa, Arizona. Okay. Bunch of paper wrapping. There it is. Well, don't go around and I don't uh, normally endorse any uh, particular brand of product. Uh, this is a power sluice, six inch power sluice. Well, looks like we got some directions here. And, uh, good. Nice sturdy hose uh, with some hose clamps. I'll be getting the measurements off of that for a, another project that I'm working on. Now this is a power sluice, comes with the hose and a pump. It's like everything is. Uh, Pretty much wrapped up together. Let's see if I can uh, get this lifted out of here. Just notice there's a, some plastic here. Let's see, where did that knife go? Let me uh, cut that off and so I can take the stuff out individually. There we go. Sorry for the camera work, folks. I said I'm doing this one-handed. All right, so this is the uh, sluice flare. Um, use, attach this and uh, set it right into the creek and use it as a normal sluice box. Got some more plastic here. Overall, the packaging of this is very, very nice. Alright, so we have here whoops, is power sluice hopper, I would assume is what it's called. Connect the hose on top there. Water circulates through there and comes out the bottom. This gets bolted on to your sluice box. No. Right here, this might be the pump. Yes, it is. We have a 1200 gallon per hour pump. It's got a nice little bracket that you can uh, hang off the side of the sluice or into your uh, bucket whatever to uh, pump the water out and it is electric um, yeah so we will take a look at this a little bit more closely here in a bit what else have we got in here oh yep we got the clamps for the 
pump. I guess they didn't ship those attached, so we'll have to do a little bit of wiring to hook the pump up to the clamp or clamps up to the pump, actually. What else we got in here? Oh, this must be the stands or the legs for the stands. And folks, I'm trying to do this one handed. So it looks like we have four sets of legs. And uh, so far, so good. And the sluice box itself. It looks like it's, there we go. So this is a six inch mini sluice. And uh, it comes with the uh, Micro Dream mat. It's actually pretty impressive. Now I've seen some videos where you should uh, clean these up real good before you first time you use them because there's a little bit of oily residue from the manufacturing process still on it. But that is very, very sharp looking. I don't think I've ever seen one with a uh, dark gray mat before. I've seen blue and green. But uh, very impressive so far. Um, got a little bracket there that uh, slides over the top of the dream mat to hold everything in place. And then on top there you have another bracket that uh, holds the either the sluice flare or the uh, power head. So, all right. Let's see what else we got in the box. And it's the last component of the stand. Exactly sure what we got here. Oh, we got some brackets here on the side to hold everything in place. Oops, sorry. I would assume you just loosen these up and these will flip up to hold the sluice. Uh, you got the brackets for the legs. They have some thumb screws on there to uh, adjust your depth and level and stuff. All right, let me get this set up and uh, get right back to you. All right, as you can see, I got the unit fully assembled. I had to uh, get my extra large tub out to uh, fit this unit in. Overall construction for quality of the material is pretty good. I'd say probably a 7 out of 10 for a rating. The connections in back, um, that hole barely fit over the top of the connection. And I have that hose clamp as tight as I can, and it's still leaking. So we're going to have to work on that. The 1100 gallon per hour pump seems to me like it's a little bit overkill. Um, definitely going to have to get a bilge pump controller, maybe from Washington Beach Mining. Uh, try to slow down the water flow a little bit. Uh, I did take the mat out and uh, give it a good scrubbing with some Dawn dish soap just to remove any residual oils that might have been on the mat yet from the manufacturing process stand is okay relatively easy to use overall construction uh, fit form and function yeah I had a heck of a time getting that box in place and if you look at it right there in the corner there's a gap gap there not exactly the best fit but it is working uh, 
It's also the uh, cause of another more leaks. So I don't know if I'm going to uh, ever switch this over to actually be a river sluice or not. If I were to uh, keep that head on there, the power head, I would definitely make, go around and caulk all the joints and make sure everything's sealed tightly. Notice the water pump has water spitting out the top. I think these are designed to be fully submerged. And they're not really affecting anything, but they're splashing the water around, so creating a little bit of a mess. You have a little bit of jet dry in the water. And I am going to run some material, but uh, get that part set up and then I'll be right back. Thank you. Alright, so I got a bucket of some of my uh, Nugget Lake concentrates again. And uh, I'll run it through this stuff, take the mat out, and uh, see if we find any gold in it. Again, I think the water's going way too fast, but uh, it should probably burn through this pretty quickly, as fast as the water's going. Currently have this set at a five degree pitch. According to instructions, it's supposed to be at 15. There's no way in heck that you want to run this any material in here at 15 degrees, especially at this water flow. And even at this is uh, a lot faster than I thought it would be. So we'll do some adjustments and then we'll try running some more. Alright, I made some adjustments to it. Still running kind of fast. Not exactly liking the way this is bubbling up over the top here. Um, I think I got this set about one or two degrees. Dropped it significantly just because of the speed of the water. Let's try a couple spoonfuls and see what we get. Again, yeah, I am planning on getting some uh, rubber matting. So I leave this box on here and then put some rubber matting all the way through here to give me an indicator mat. And then uh, definitely order a uh, build pump controller to slow down the flow of the water. It's supposed to be a six inch cleanup sluice. It's just an off brand that I found on Amazon. Try to get you a close up here. And uh, we'll get you a close up of the material dancing around in the mat there. Everything seems to be working fine at this speed. A little bit of black sand build up up here, so it's wipe that down but everything seems to be swirling it's too far in and I'll show you what happens Overall looking pretty good at this level.
So one of the reasons why I bought this particular machine, one is it has the stand, it's a recirculating system. It was by over $100 cheaper than some of the main name brands that you see on sale or for sale online. Uh, it did come with the dream mat. And I, I'm actually planning on taking this along with my keen sluice, take it up to Lake Superior. Now in Wisconsin, you're not allowed to use any type of mechanical assistance in prospecting. Uh, so no battery-operated battery pumps, no gas-operated pumps, nothing like that. So I am working on a scientific system that uses no mechanical aids, i.e. moving pieces to move water by using a vacuum system and connections made from water jugs. I think uh, if I can get that to work properly and get enough water flow through it, I think it'll work fine for up on the beaches of Lake Superior. Alright, so ran that material through plus a little bit more that I found laying around. We'll let this clean out a little bit and we'll do a clean up and then uh, we'll pan it out see if there's any gold in any of that stuff that I've gone through multiple times before. There, shut that down. Doesn't look like there's a lot of concentrates in that mat, which is a good thing. Do a quick clean out here. Just two wing nuts on the back to loosen up this plate. And be able to slide the mat out. My 10 inch black pan here. Alright, supposed to slide this out the end of the box, but just uh, turn it upside down. A, little, a couple little shakes. And it's all cleaned out. Set up there for now. Now I'm not gonna worry about the sand and stuff that's already or still in there. Uh, at least not at this time. And that's all the concentrates that we have left. Probably maybe an eighth of a cup, if that. Lift this up here and slide this bucket over so I can pan into it. Alright, so we're going to slide this over. Give me some room for panning. Again, not a lot of material left over. So I'm just going to do a quick pan because I just want to see if there's anything in here. I'm not going to go real in depth. Uh, again, I am saving this material. I'm doing a lot of different trials, uh, especially if I try to do a uh, piggyback sluice system for uh, beach prospecting on Lake Superior. So again, this was all classified material that I ran through here. Uh, I couldn't even tell you what mesh it was. It was just some stuff that I still needed to go through. And uh, so all the stuff, 
particles in here are roughly the same size. So we'll just so we're gonna pan this out real quick and see if there's anything actually in there. back I'm not really expecting to find anything but hey you never know yeah let's see if I can zoom in on that we did find some gold not a lot just a few little micro specks but let's see if I can zoom in on that and that's just doing a quick pan but yeah that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yeah about fourteen pieces in there and i'm sure there's probably more in that black sand right there but uh yeah this is some really really tiny gold folks and if this piece of equipment can uh capture that out of uh mostly black sand material i think we're gonna be doing pretty good with this so overall uh for what i paid for this piece of equipment uh, definitely money well spent and uh, hopefully it'll uh, recover some uh, decent gold for me in the future yeah there you go folks that's the review of my latest piece of equipment the six inch power sluice to use for concentrator cleanup I uh, hope you liked the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and hit the little bell icon to receive future notifications. Until next time, this is Ringer. Have yourself a great day.